Hello YouTube viewers. Um, as I promised in my last video that I did on the Otterbox Defender series right here for the iPhone 5, I'm coming with you with another case review on the Otterbox Armor series for the iPhone 5. I will again be using this with my iPod Touch as I did the last video because well I don't own an iPhone. But I did go and get the case or use some connections through a friend and got the case. I think he got it for free. I mean, he has like nine different Otter Boxes, so you can see Otter Box Armor, iPhone 5, number one protection. I don't really know that, but I mean, here it is. It's, I mean, it's at military standards. It's really thick. Hang on. I'm texting, by the way. I'm texting my buddy. Alright, so I'll start opening the case for you. And I'm going to put my 32 gig iPod Touch 5th generation inside of it as I carry it around in this case. Generally, we're going to try it out with the armor case. Now I'm using a guitar pick to pop the lashes on the side, these little latches here, so it locks the case down. Those. Using a guitar pick because I don't have fingernails, so I have to use that. And then you just pull the case wait, up off and you take out the little insert and I'll show you the inside is pretty interesting I mean it's really really thick is it as you can see it has a screen protector on it and the inside here up at the top where your device would be is felt it's like felt velvet something it's really really soft your phone would be detected here with these little rivets it has on the inside of the case on the sides it's really really protective and at the bottom here you also have foam inserts to where your ports would go where your headphones are the lightning connector and everything it's so locked in and protected it has the speaker port here you can see where the headphones are if you can see those speaker holes there it's so so protected I mean the case even comes here with a little lanyard, and I'm not taking that out in the bottom for the case because the holster for it is a little big. Now this case retails for about a hundred dollars, I think, ninety-nine, ninety-five or something. I paid like fifty-four for this one. This one's like a hundred dollars or something. I mean, but you're paying for protection with this case. It is locked in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put my iPod Touch in it. Now how you do the armor case is a little bit different from the others in the sense that the bottom of your device make sure the screen is clean goes in first here if you can hear my brother in there he's online gaming a little bit which I think I'll do in a minute uh, put your device in bottom first then press it in slowly and I mean it's locked in there it's in there really good you can see Whoa. Whoops. So maybe not that good, but it'll stay in if you hold it upside down without the backing to it. Now, as I did with my other hotter box, so I'm putting that little plastic back in. You'll get the story behind this if you go watch my other video on the Defender series case. So put that there just to give it a little more thickness. Again, it's an iPod Touch, not an iPhone. This is an iPhone case. Now, how you do the back of the case? It's rubberized here. I'll tell you a little bit about it before I put it on. Here you have the protection around the camera that's like padded right there. And of course it's covered up with these little plastic cover for the camera and the flash. Now putting the case on, these little protrusions out of the side here, those notches go in. Take that back out. Here, they go in those little holes. How this works, put that back in. This little, these little notches here, they slide into those holes on the case. You just push those back and down, then you lock it in with the latches here. So you just flip the latches up and you pull them down. And they can be kind of hard to get down. But essentially, my iPod right now is waterproof. 
if you can see all the keys function here uh, I'll show you the drop down menu well the slide up menu I'll show you the drop down menu too it's functioning here's something that I do have to show you about it rear camera is fine sort of the rear camera and flash I'll go to video so I can turn the flash on while the camera's on at the same time uh, here you can see it's not really blocked it's not blocked at all for the rear camera you can see me here now the front facing camera that's a different story the iPhone front facing camera is a little bit higher and over to like the left side of the phone than it is on an iPod touch so you get this black blocking thing at the bottom here I put it back on camera so you can still take your selfies or look at your face in it, but it's blocked, if you can see that. But um, other than that, home button functions, I'll lock it and wake it up with the home button. Lock, whoops, it's accidentally holding that. Lock key, functions pretty good. Let's see how the volume rockers work. The volume rockers on the iPod Touch with the OtterBox Defender, I don't use the bottom volume rocker at all. I use the top rocker here to turn it down and the little silence switch or where the silent key should be to turn it up because the volume keys don't line up right. Yeah. So the volume up doesn't work at all. I can turn it down though from here. Other than that, you have to go to the drop down menu or go in your settings to change the volume, which really isn't that hard. But it's protected, it's waterproof, it's drop proof. Yeah, it's pretty locked in. Ports exposed. This is where your speaker is, bottom here. Yeah, the lightning cable is pretty good. I mean, it's waterproof. So, I'm not going to show you how it's waterproof because I haven't tested the waterproofness of the case itself. But other than that, it's big, it's really thick. You can see that. I'll compare it to my Defender. Just going to pop the Tilt coming back on. Compare it. Put all the little covers and whatnot back in there and get it perfectly on there. This is armor. This is defender. It's bigger. Of course, it's heavier because it's got metal and everything on it. And I mean, as far as size, it's a little bit taller. That's upside down. But um, other than that, it's a locked-in case. It's very good. I do recommend it. About a hundred dollars, it'll get you this case. But uh, I guess that's my review for this and the iPod Touch. Uh, my thing is, if you get it for the iPod Touch, your front-facing camera won't function as well. I mean, it'll still work, but not as well as it should. But I recommend it for everyday protection. I just recommend the Defender and put that little plastic slip in there. It's in my other video on how I did that, along with a review of this. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.